Hello, everybody. Welcome to another Facebook Friday. It's another Frilici Friday, and it is a beautiful, gorgeous, sunny, amazing Friday. I don't know, guys. I kind of feel like we're in March, right? Like spring might actually be coming. <laughs> and here in Michigan, that's a really big deal, right? Like the snow is melting. Hey, Philomena, welcome. It's like, oh, Yay, I think, you know, we are surviving the winter. We are on like that downhill slide to moving on into spring and then summer and we are ready for all of that, aren't we? So hopefully you guys have a good, have had a good week, right? Um, kind of can't believe I've had two Facebook Fridays in a row. This is kind of unheard of for me these days. So I'm super like, you know, patting myself on the back that we're doing this again, second Friday in a row. So, so happy to be here with you guys. We got lots of fun stuff planned today. We we are actually playing this is awesome I bought um, this kit a couple I don't know like a month or maybe more ago so we are going to be playing today our product of the week hello Miss Teresa is the it's called <clears throat> excuse me I got like a tickle in my throat the you are amazing project kit featuring the you are amazing stamp set and I'll show you that in more detail later but these kits are awesome so we're going to talk more about kind of the fabulous um super quick and easy crafting ideas with these kits that we have um hey everybody's hopping on anna yay so happy to be here live again i know i'm happy you can join us again too so yeah like i said we're gonna have some awesome fun today playing with one of these project kits i think sometimes they're kind of overlooked and that's what made me think you know what really want to highlight these things um they're great for avid crafters people that have been crafting for a long time and then they're probably even more so kind of marketed toward brand new crafters people that haven't done this much before don't have lots of supplies these kits are the way to go ladies so we're going to have lots of fun playing with this kit later on, um, kind of toward the end of things. I'll be showing you fun projects that you can make with that kit. Nikki, hello, welcome. I'm so glad you can be here with us again today too, second Friday in a row. I can't stop saying that, so <laughs> sorry. Um, let's see, what else do we have going on? Oh, quick update, you guys were all so sweet. I know I was like, um, you know, getting all teary-eyed last week talking about Lily. It was a, you know, super kind of like crazy emotional time. And so thank you for kind of <laughs> weathering that storm with me. But I have to tell you guys, I have, and I said it last week, I know, but just been blown away by, you know, people checking in, wondering how Lily's doing, just thinking about her, praying for her, praying for all of us. And I tell you what, I, I truly believe that the prayers, thoughts, good wishes, they have all been answered. Um, she is doing so well, especially like the last day, maybe two days. She had had so much dizziness that she, you know, kind of wasn't up and around very much, um, but that has really subsided. So she's kind of up, she's, you know, moving around. She said, I haven't napped for the past couple of days because that had been a big thing. She was like napping like a couple of times a day um, for the first like week and a half that she had been home. So just recently, that's kind of stopped um, she's yeah so she's just up and active and she looks better like she you know just kind of looking at her she doesn't she doesn't have that like sad kind of like you know no emotion face she's like she's got you know some energy and some emotion so just so happy um, that she is continuing to recover the amazing thing too was um, with school they were kind of at the very end of their trimester so they basically were like don't worry about school just stay home get healthy rest up and come back when you're ready which that has been like last week and this week that's what she's been doing um they had like exams the last couple of days and they're like don't worry about exams whatever grade you had in class that's what we're going to give you if you want to do work to try to you know get your grade up in any um, of your classes we'll you know we can work with you on that but basically they've just been you know, just take care of yourself, rest and get better. And then when you're better, come back. So she's heading back to school on Monday. And I think she's getting really excited um, to actually be back. She's kind of been missing, you know, school and friends and kind of all that social. And I think um, hopefully, you know, she's good to go. We'll see. That'll be a lot like a big change from like really not doing much of anything to going back to school four days a week. They get Wednesdays off. So she'll be back Monday, Tuesday, and then off on Wednesday and then Thursday, Friday. So that'll be good. But yeah, so anyway, I just want to give a quick update on that because I know lots of people have been asking and, and I thank you guys, um, you know, for thinking of us. It's been, you know, a really scary experience, but also a really humbling experience too to see, you know, so many people caring and, and worrying and praying. So thank you guys. So, all right, let's, we're going to jump right in. I want to do our first drawing and I've seen, I think, um, um, 
I think Philomena, you said you've already shared the video, so thank you so much for that. I really appreciate all of your shares of this video. That is truly what helps me reach um, new uh, friends that maybe aren't um, aware of the Facebook Friday that we do he here each week. Um, so thank you, I truly appreciate that. Sharing to your personal page, if there are any other crafting groups that you're a part of, love for you to share, because obviously that's a super targeted audience of people that might be interested in watching and hanging out with us. So thank you so much. With that being said, your name is in the little basket right here. If you shared last Friday's Facebook Live video anytime between when it happened and last night at about midnight is usually when I prep for this. Um, or if you're new to me and sign up for my email list. And don't forget, so the link to sign up for my email list, if you have not done that already, it will be at the top of this Facebook Live video after I get everything uploaded to Facebook later today. There's always a link on my blog too at Gathering Inc with a K, so gatheringinspiration.com to get yourself signed up for my email list, which is the best way to keep you updated on anything that is going on with the stamp studio, with um, stamping up, just kind of in general. So, all right, we got lots of names in here. Ooh, and what are we gonna give away? this? week we have the opal rounds oh maybe you kind of in just the right light you can get kind of the different colors that they're just such a fun pretty um embellishment so all right here we go <laughs> you know what is so funny it's almost like the first person that pops on philomena now it keeps saying that you are watching and it keeps like popping up again and again and again so i wonder if there's something funny with facebook because sharon it was sharon greening last week that her name kept popping up like almost like she would like go off and back on facebook live but i don't know i don't know if it's popping up weird for you too philomena but your name's i think your name is going to be with me the whole facebook live it's going to keep popping up so it doesn't bother me it's just funny that it, i don't know why it's happening so anyway okay here we go first name first drawing that we are doing. I have one in my hand, Miss Pam Simmons. All right, congratulations, Miss Pam. I am trying to think if I have your email or your mailing address. So Pam, will you um, send me a Facebook message with your mailing address just in case, because I want to make sure that I have that and then I can um, get the opal rounds sent out to you. So congratulations, Miss Pam, on winning those opal rounds. All right, oops, we got to get those things. I'm gonna get ready for the next drawing too while I am chatting. Hello, Miss Susan, I didn't see you pop on there. So glad you can hang out with us today. Um, so next, Facebook Live. So I will tell you, I already know I have, um, my local Simple Beautiful card class next Friday. So I won't be doing Facebook Live next Friday, which is, so if this is the 5th, the 12th, yeah. So not next Friday, the 12th, we'll be back live on the 19th. So you've got lots of time to share the Facebook Live video and get your name entered into the drawing to win. I love, this is some of my favorite, that Rococo Rose. It's like a Rococo Rose gathered ribbon is what we will be, what we will be giving away on our next Facebook Live two weeks from today. Okay, so um, yeah, it's just I love this. It's kind of like a crinkled gathered. It just makes beautiful bows. It's perfect like springtime ribbon. Going to be great for any like springtime projects, Easter projects, Mother's Day, any of that good stuff. This is beautiful ribbon. Now I'm like, oh, why am I getting? Why am I giving this away? I'm gonna have to order some more because now I'm thinking of all these things that I want to do with this ribbon um, before it retires. Which that's my next point. Hello, Ashley. Welcome. Thank you. I'm so glad you can join us. Um, so yeah, this is one of our in colors. We have the, it's the 2019 to 21 in colors that are going to be retiring. And I believe they're actually going to retire like a month earlier than normal. So I'm not too early in talking about this. I'm trying to spread the word right now because our retiring lists. So this annual catalog ends on, I'm going to do a double check here. Um, in very tiny print. Yep, it ends on May 3 of this year. So May 4, our new annual catalog. So the retiring lists will come out probably end of March, beginning of April. I, it's probably been communicated. Um, but anyway, in the next couple of weeks, we will start um, hearing about the retiring list. So with that being said, all of the in colors, the 2019-21 in colors, which I decided to show it in a ribbon this time, these are all of our colors that are retiring. Pam, I just drew your name for the opal rounds. You just 
one for sharing. I see you just popped on there. Thank you for sharing again. So yeah, Pam, send me your um, mailing address if you would. Send me a Facebook message um, and let me know because I, I can't remember whether I have your mailing address or not. So I want to make sure to get those sent out to you. So, okay. So back to our in colors that are retiring. So if you love any of these colors and you don't have, say this ribbon in these colors, or maybe you need additional cardstock, maybe you never got the ink pad, or maybe you got the ink pad and you need to get the ink refill. Um, what else? So cardstock, um, there's there are embellishments too, right? Some little butterflies, I'm pretty sure. Um, is that it? Cardstock, ink pad, ink refill, ribbon, embellishment. I feel like there's something else. Anyway, you guys know, right? So just make sure that if you love any of these colors and don't have everything that you need, so we have Purple Posy, Pretty Peacock, Seaside Spray, Rococo Rose, and Terracotta Tile. These are our five ink colors that are going to be blends. Thank you, Ashley. Yes, the blends. Those will be retiring also. So if you um, don't have what you need in these colors, don't wait. Do, do not wait. Thank you, markers too. Yes, blends and markers. Thank you, guys. I knew there was something else. Thank you. So yeah, that was it. Because I'm thinking of my in-color clubs and what I'll do we include in there. But yeah, markers and blends are another couple of um, things that you want to make sure that you get, right? So my point is don't wait, though. Don't wait for the retiring list because every year, and I say it every year, and every year it happens, somebody doesn't get the ink refills that they want or the ribbon or the cardstock. These things Things will sell out super quickly once those lists have been announced. So trying to give you like the heads up before those lists come out. If you need anything in any of these colors, get it now while you can. Use my host code too. I have a new host code, which where the heck is that now that I'm thinking about it? Uh -huh. I think it, <laughs> I just printed it. Um, so we have a color printer at, at work. So I printed it at work and now I'm like... Where is it? But I, I think I know where it is. I hope. Anyway, because I, as I was saying that, I'm like, we have a new host code, but where the heck is my paper with the host code? I know it's on my blog already at Gathering Ink with a K, GatheringInspiration.com. So if for some reason I can't find it, well, then um, we'll have it over there. But I think I know where it is. I'm going to hope <laughs> and pray that I know where it is. So, okay. Um, Let's see. Oh, so Inkspired Stampers, my downline, my team, we have to give a shout out and a welcome to Miss Carolyn Lawrence. She just bought the starter kit during celebration. So back at the uh, very end of February, she bought the starter kit, became an Inkspired Stamper, is now part of our team. So we want to say a, a huge welcome to Carolyn for getting that starter kit and becoming a part of our team. And now she'll reap lots of awesome benefits for being part of the Inkspired Stampers as well. And Miss Pam Facty, who is one of my current team members, a current Inkspired stamper, she, I'm trying to think of when, maybe last summer or so, she bought the starter kit, but she actually just promoted to Bronze Elite. So congratulations, Miss Pam. And the best part, really, about promoting to Bronze Elite is when you first buy the starter kit, you get a 20% discount on everything that you buy or sell. Either way, you want to look at that. Um, and some people just buy and some people... Probably nobody just sells, right? We all buy for ourselves. But anyway, you can make an income at it too, right? So 20% discount or income on your orders when you first buy the starter kit. When you promote to Bronze Elite, which is when you have um, $1,800 in like a rolling 12-month sales period, then you get 25% off of all your orders or you earn 25% income on everything that you sell. So congratulations to Miss Pam for promoting to Bronze Elite. She now receives 25% discount or income on everything that she sells and then in addition for being a part of the Inkspired Stampers group I also love to um, congratulate you on your accomplishments so she gets a $50 shopping spree from me also so and that's true for anybody at all levels in my downline um, just so you know that if you buy the starter kit through me or anybody in my team my first three levels you always get a $25 shopping spree when you promote to what we call qualified team member, which is $900 in sales. You receive a $50 shopping spree when you get to um, promoting to Bronze Elite, which is $1,800 in sales. And then you get a $75 shopping spree when you promote to Silver, which is when you have $3,600 in that rolling 12 month sales period and you have one team member in your team too. So lots of great benefits, other fun things that we do for you too, but that kind of, you know, money talks too, right? Everybody loves to be able to go on a little shopping spree for their accomplishments. So congratulations, Pam, and welcome, Miss Carolyn. Um, okay, let's see. I want to show you guys. So 
What are we going to talk about? Let's talk about the next drawing that we're going to do, right? So if you put an online order in last week from when we did Facebook Live last Friday through uh, this past Wednesday at midnight, you automatically receive these two beautiful, I love these super fun springtimey projects. You are going to get both of these cards in the mail as a thank you for me, right? Then you also get your name in the drawing to win this Approaching Perfection stamp set. This is just with a $30 order you get the cards and your name in the drawing if you bumped your order up to $50 and why would you not have done that because it was just celebration thanks for your address Pam I appreciate that um, you also so you get your celebration item and you get to pick from this was March's um, free embellishment the opal rounds or the demo design dream team PDF tutorial free with your $50 order you get to pick either the embellishment or the PDF tutorial so that's true every single month so now celebration is all done but you still might as well um, bump your order up to that $50 because you get to pick now this month is actually going to be the champagne rhinestones I love these rhinestones I am praying 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 that these do not um, retire because I love these I love to use them all the time um, and I do not want them to go away right so so with your $50 order, now you can pick from either the rhinestones, the champagne rhinestones, or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. And I will do, I always like to kind of try to do a flip through here. So 16 different projects in here, step by step, how to put them together with color pictures. Um, I feel like my camera is like funny today. Hey, Deb, how are you? Thank you for sharing the video. Um, I just have to stand back a little bit. I want to be so close to you guys, but I think it's better if I stand back a little bit. So, okay, I will try to kind of flip through here so you can see, I mean, basically you see like all of the detail, right? I mean, so we've got the color pictures and then like this one was super cool. There were lots and lots of instructions um, on how to put everything together. I'm not really showing you very well, I mean, although you weren't really supposed to see the actual. There, there's my host code. That's what I was hoping it was at the back of. Yay, okay, so here's our host code, totally backwards, but I'll, I'll flip that down for you guys and you'll be able to see that. So anyway, yes. Um, so let's do our drawing. That's what I need to do now. We are gonna do our drawing for the Approaching Perfection stamp set. Let me, did I put the names? I did. Whoops, and I just dumped the ribbon over. Oh well. <laughs> we'll pick that up later. Okay, so your name is in here if you um, put an online order in of at least $30. You are going to, one, we'll have one lucky winner of the Approaching Perfection stamp set, and that one is going to go, yep, I've got them all, just to make sure they're all separated. Uh, it's going to go to, one lucky name, one in my hand. Yes, one in my hand. Miss Monica Talbot. All right, congratulations, Monica. You are the lucky winner of the Approaching Perfection stamp set, something that is unavailable at this point. When celebration ended, this stamp set is no longer available now. So congratulations, Monica, on winning the Approaching Perfection stamp set. I will get that sent out to you along with these two. I have to show them again because I loved these cards so much. I, I think I want to play with this stamp set like a million more times. I think you could just have so much fun with that. That was, I think it was called Pretty Perennials. It's funny how all of like last week that was. I can't, pretty sure Pretty Perennials. Yes, so, okay. Oh, I'm getting a text. I don't know what that said. I didn't get to read it, but I don't want to read it. We're doing Facebook Live right now. I will read that text later. Okay, um, ooh, so this next Facebook Live. Again, two weeks from today, we'll be back live. Your name is going to go in the drawing to win. This is an awesome, another great, super um, beautiful, fun stamp set for like springtime projects, right? Um, the Jar of Flowers stamp set. So we've got, and it actually doesn't even have any sentiments. Um, the Jar Punch works perfectly with this stamp set though. Um, and just so many like fun images in there too. I This is gonna be a great one, like I said, for your springtime projects too. So spend at least $30. You're gonna get the projects I'm gonna demonstrate in just a little bit and your name will go in the drawing to win the Jar of Flowers stamp set on our next Facebook Live, okay? All right, we are cruising right along, I think. Let me do a quick double check. I have more to show you, but I think I wanna flip the camera down. I think that's where we're at here. Let's make sure. Yeah, okay. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, I gotta make some room. I have too much sitting out here. <laughs> okay. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna grab a quick sip of, sip of water too. Mm. 
Okay, that's good. Oh, oh. Stormy, the guard dog. He didn't used to be such a barker, but now I don't know what it is, but he's like a barking fool these days and it's really annoying. If anyone has any suggestions on how to make that stop, because it's gonna be a long spring and summer, right? There aren't as many people out walking around. I live right in town too, so people are like walking by all the time and even more so when it's not snowy and cold, right? So it's only gonna get worse. It's just something that's happened this winter and it's really, really frustrating because it's not even dogs and not just dogs. It's like people, just people walking by and he never used to do that. So if anybody knows dogs and has any suggestions on how to make that stop, I would love to hear about that too. So, okay, here, we're turning our heads away, flying through the air, and I am gonna have to drag my can or my table over a little bit more too because um, the sun is beautiful, but it is super glary. Like, look at that. Like the reflection <laughs> from, the yeah, it's bad. Okay, so. Here we go. Okay, there, I think we're all right. So here's the new host code. I'm glad I did find that too. So the CX hug XUP is our host code for the month of March. So make sure you use that host code when you order through me on stampinup.com and then your name will go in the drawing to win that jar of flower stamp set along with receiving the projects I'm going to show you in just a couple minutes. And hello, Miss Becky. Uh, I'm so glad you can join us at whatever time you can be here. Thank you very much for hanging out with us today. Okay, so real quick, I want to show you guys. I always love to show um, what we've done in classes. So these are a couple of pages that we made in our scrapbook class at the end of February. Yep, I'm like, what month are we in? So I like I like to do this make um, like birthday pages because you never can have enough um, pages, right, for um, birthday parties and like just birthday celebrations, right? So, and I love these, the little snails. I know we made projects with this um, designer series paper, that snail mail designer series paper a few weeks ago. I just think the little buggy eyes are just so cute, right? So fun, bright, happy birthday page right there. You can kind of, I don't know if you can tell, we did put some Wink of Stella on um, those little uh, candles too. I don't think you can really tell from here, but but we did. So sorry that you can't really see the fun sparkliness. And then here's the second page. So these would kind of go together like that right here. So then here, I'll just flip it underneath there, is our second page. And we did use actually the Approaching Perfection stamp set that Monica just won. And then some of this, um, this is the Playful Pets ribbon combo pack. So it came with that little red stitched ribbon as well as the black and white twine little both of those in there too so fun love that little page also right so yeah cute 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 right um now oh you know what else i have to show you guys is my next class to go super excited about this actually give you a quick preview. This was a swap card that I made. This is actually not one of the cards that you could, that you will make in um, the PDF tutorial or in that class to go, but it's super simple. You could definitely make this one um, as well. I just use, that's like the painted texture embossing folder back there. If you can kind of see that detail, this is some of the Ice Cream Corner Designer Series paper, and then some of that awesome um, Blackberry Bliss striped ribbon. Can you kind of see the striping on there? And then happy birthday, hope it's sweet. So just a super fun, simple birthday card. Love the ice cream cone um, imagery, right? Yeah, and the colors, they're awesome, aren't they? Great um, set of colors in that suite of products. So, oops, okay, I'm literally dumping all of the um, bolts of ribbon, those in color ribbons. So here is another I'll show you. This is in the January to June mini catalog. On pages 48 and 49 is the Ice Cream Corner Suite. And I know Philomena just said great colors, so I thought perfect lead in to show you. I love how Stampin' Up! is doing this with telling you the coordinating colors that are in this, well, in our designer series paper right there, right? So we have Terracotta Tile, Old Olive, Bermuda Bay, Blackberry Bliss, and Cinnamon Cider. And you can see them kind of in that little grid right there too. So love that. That was a huge help for me as I was designing my cards too, right? And truly the beauty of Stampin' Up! is the way they do 
all of their color coordinating, right? With their cardstock and their designer series paper and their ink and their embellishments, right? That's what makes these projects all look so cute is how everything is because everything coordinates so kind of quickly and easily too, right? So awesome suite of products. We are, I'm gonna just kind of leave that maybe right about there, right? So I think I can show you guys. Let me show you the cards that we're gonna make in the Ice Cream Corner class to go. So you guys know this, we always make two of each of these projects. So you're gonna make eight projects in total, two of these four cards. So first of all, we have this fun little treat yourself card. We've got You Melt My Heart, that's a fun one. Happy birthday with sprinkles on top and thank you, you're so cool. Now, I will tell you that you could switch any of those sentiments out, right? Very um, simply, quickly, and easily. I'm gonna do kind of a close up here is the sweet ice cream stamp set. So great sentiments though, right? I know I've used that happy birthday and thank you a bunch of times. They're like the perfect size too, because they're big enough that, you know, they kind of don't get swallowed up by the card. But I love, right, with the happy birthday with sprinkles on top or ha happy birthday, hope it's sweet. We've got treat yourself, you melt my heart, you're so cool. And then a, funch, a bunch of kind of ice cream imagery um, and popsicle kind of imagery there too on the stamp set. So had tons and tons of fun playing with the stamp set. Of course, there's the coordinating, what are they calling this, ice cream cone builder punch. Um, I'm sure you can come up with some other, that almost looks like a Ms. Pac-Man if I turn that, <laughs> maybe, right? I don't, um, I can't remember for sure, but I think you could kind of do something fun with that. So have some fun um, with your punches, um, you know, making other um, things with them, right? With your with your punches. So, okay. Um, okay, I showed you the cards. I showed you the stamp set and the punch. You also, let me tell you about the options. That's what I'll do, because that'll help me <laughs> get back on track here. So option number one is getting the sweet ice cream stamp set and the ice cream cone builder punch. You also get, and I knew there was a reason why I brought this over, a quarter of a pack of the ice cream corner designer series paper. So you're gonna get a six by 12 piece of each of the, um, pieces of paper in the designer series paper. I've used so much of this, I don't even have you like have a quarter of a pack to show you anymore, but you'll get a quarter of a pack. And actually in option number one, you get the designer series paper for free. You also get a full bolt of that awesome Blackberry Bliss striped ribbon. Works uh, really well, super easy to tie beautiful bows with this ribbon. And then as well, you're gonna get a full package of the Artistry Blooms sequins, which are these sequins right here. Um, they come in, let's see, number five, it says they come in Calypso Coral, Coastal Cabana, Mango Melody, and Rich Razzleberry. But the interesting thing is those aren't necessarily exact colors that are kind of coordinating, but they these things will kind of bend to whatever color you need them to be when you put them on a project. So they just, the, the overall tones were perfect. And I love, you gotta have a sprinkle of some bling on pretty much every card I make these days. So, okay, so to recap, because I went kind of quickly, or I don't know, in detail, right? Okay, so the stamp set, the punch, uh, the ribbon, a quarter pack of designer series paper, the artistry bloom sequins, and then all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these fabulous cards. That's option number one. You get the designer series paper for free is $64. Option number two is if you already have the stamp set and the punch, you would not want to get option number two if you don't have these because you need to do your stamping and punching on your own. You will get the Blackberry Bliss <laughs> ribbon storm no sorry guys can i even talk over him <sighs> stormy stop please you see how well he listens too right he's like up in the chair oh. he's a teeny tiny well he's not a teeny tiny he's a shih tzu so in terms of dog size he's not very big but boy he thinks he's pretty ferocious don't you storm that's enough please Okay, sorry. So option number two is the ah. ribbon, a quarter pack of designer series paper, and the artist rebloom sequins, plus all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards. And did I mention the PDF tutorial that tells you how to put these cards together, right? Option number two is $31. And you can either select porch pickup. I just put it in a bag out on the porch. No additional shipping charge. If you need it sent to you, I send everything priority mail and it's additional $8 shipping. And I tell you, they keep increasing that shipping cost too. I've yet to, pretty soon I'm gonna have to bump it up to $9 because I think it's like $8.55 now, but... 
Anyway, I'm just eating that difference for now. So probably the next price increase will have to go the other way and bump it to nine. Anyway, it's additional $8 right now shipping to get that sent to you. Option number three is if you just want the PDF tutorial that tells you you want to get, get everything, maybe your demonstrator, use your discount to get everything on your own. You just want to know how to make these cute cards. It's always $15. It's always available. I always say this, even after the RSVP deadline passes. And another great perk for becoming an expired stamper you can get the PDF tutorials from me each month for free, right? Um, option number four is also for my downline. If they want the make and takes, all the parts and pieces to make all of these projects, it's just $12, basically cost to cover everything that I um, will do to get those projects um, put together for you. So if you um, are interested, I need RSVP and payment by Friday, March 19th. So that's, um, what is that, two weeks from now. And the kits will ship out no later than March 31st. Okay, so let me know if you guys have any questions on that. Also, if you have been occasionally getting these class to go kits and you've been enjoying them, you might want to consider joining the class to go club. Basically, that just means I want to get a kit from you every month for the next 12 months. I will tell you if there's a month that you're like, oh my gosh, I really don't like these projects. I really don't want to do them, which I have a hard time believing. I hope that never happens. Or, you know, if life just comes up and you're like, eh, I don't, I don't think I want to do the class to go club this month. We can always skip a month and then we'll just add one on at the end. So I try to be as flexible as possible um, with everything that I do to accommodate, you know, whatever people need, right? But bottom line, if you want to get these cute kits from me every single month for 12 months, join the class to go club, you get at least $30 in free product the month that you are the host of the class to go club. I also like to send cute little treats out to my club members each month. Um, and you actually can also get um, the host stamp sets that are in I think the back is it in the very back of the catalog? They keep moving them on me. Um, yeah, right here. So this beautiful, sweet sampler stamp set is one that you could get with your host benefits the month that you're the host as well. So if you are interested in doing that, let me know. I'd love to get you signed up for the class to go club and get you one of these kits sent out every single month. Okay, Whew. lots of chit chatting. And I feel like maybe I had some comments that I missed. I apologize. I'll have to go back. I was in my own little zone there, and I didn't kind of see um, the last couple comments, and now they've scrolled away. So, all right. I will catch up with those after our Facebook Live. Okay, so we have some grid paper here. I'm going to scoot this up a little bit. I always have to put my grid paper so I know where I'm working here, keep myself in view. Okay. Mm. So, I have to show you guys. So, these cards, I just, I, well, I love fun, bright colors, right? You guys know this. So, these are the four cards that you can make in the You Are the Amazing Project Kit. Can you guys see? I'm trying to decide. I'm trying to make them so you guys can see them all, right? So, I'm going to show you how quick and easy and simple these cards are to make. But I also want to show you the stamp set. So you would buy the kit separately. Sometimes they come with the stamp set in the kit and sometimes they're separate. So in this case, you do need to get the You Are Amazing stamp set separately. So we've got the Hip Hip Hooray, three cheers for you. Thanks, happy birthday, congrats, and you are amazing. So super fun, um, kind of bold uh, fonts, I guess I would say, on the stamp set too. So really stand out on your projects, right? Along with lots of pretty details on the cards. And that was what kind of really um, hit me was just like how fun, bright, bold, beautiful these are, and then how many kind of extra little elements and details come with this particular kit. So let me kind of show you what I mean by that. So here is, it comes in this cute box too. So Bermuda Bay, one of my favorite colors. So I think that's another reason why I like it. And then everything comes inside. So it's actually all packaged up and I kind of tried to leave it intact so I could show you guys. This whole little kit just came right in here, all boxed up. They do a great job of preserving the box to make sure it stays safe in shipping. And okay, so now we're gonna, I didn't pull it out, like I said, cause I wanted to be able to show you guys everything but now okay so here and I've already made one of each of these cards so you can make four of each of these 
in one of these kits. Um, the other thing I should say too is I think this is a great gift idea, maybe for um, like a daughter, granddaughter, a friend that like hears about you crafting all the time and is kind of interested, but again, maybe doesn't want to invest too much in the beginning. This is kind of a good get your feet wet um, kind of playing. Maybe you even have the stamp set or, um, you know, could get this stamp set for them. Um, or, you know, you can use other stamp sets too. I loved, I think these all worked really well. And of course they do that where the imagery, like this one fits perfectly right in um, the little cutout that they have, right? So anyway, just something to think about. I think it's a great gift idea, right? And if you're a demonstrator, why not buy gifts from Stampin' Up! to give to people? It helps support you, right? Reaching your minimum. Instead of going somewhere else to buy a gift, buy it from yourself, right? Through Stampin' Up! And then you kind of are, you know, you get your discount, you're supporting yourself, you're getting those sales that you need to stay active. So it's kind of a win, win, win situation. Okay, so here this is, and I'm going to pull out because I need one of each of many of these things. So this is one of the card bases that we're going to use. I'm just going to kind of flip through here. So I'll have two more that I can make. I did actually already pull. These are like a vellum tag. So I pulled those out. This one is just a basic old olive. Oh, no, it's not basic old olive. There's a pretty stripe on the back. Um, they do, which is different than our cardstock. So these card kits, generally, they make a white on the inside, um, where usually if we have old olive cardstock, it's old olive on the inside. So that is a little bit different for us. Then we've got, ooh, and this one is kind of like a printed um, vellum almost on the Bermuda Bay, if you can see that. So Bermuda Bay on the outside and then the white on the inside. And then lastly, we have a pretty peacock card base. And this one is just all pretty peacock with white on the inside, okay? Then we have the envelopes, and I didn't even notice this until I was looking at the kit, but they've got the fun bright, this is like a mango melody on the inside of, and let's see, can I find, yeah, and then a Bermuda Bay on the inside of this one. Yes, the stripes are awesome, aren't they, Nikki? I think that's what I really loved about these kits, or this kit in particular, just those fun, bright, bold colors. So this is another, so you can see these are already printed, so we do need one of those, right? So cute little add-on. I already pulled these out, but what I really want to show you guys, and we'll work with these, these are all perforated. So if you don't have a die-cutting machine, again, if you're brand new to this, you don't need a die-cutting machine. They've already made the circles and the banners for you. Uh, you bought the kit and haven't touched it yet. You know, I know that that happens, Susan. That happens to me too. And honestly, that was one of the reasons why I thought, you know, I want to show you guys this kit um, today on Facebook Live. It forced me to pull it out and play with it too. And I I love this kit now. So here are some more fun um, kind of embellishment pieces that are die cut. Basically, they're just perforated. They pop right out. Here are a couple more. And Bermuda Bay, right? Who doesn't love Bermuda Bay foil paper, right? We've got a couple more here. And then this one, oh, yeah, this one I didn't ink up my ink pad very well. So that was my boo-boo. So note to whoever is stamping. So you can see this one probably went right in there, right? Make sure your ink pads are really well inked up. I would definitely suggest testing them out on your grid paper or another work surface because you only get one shot, right? So they gave me, yep, did they give us, sometimes they'll give you an extra and this one they didn't. So you've only got the four banners for your four cards. Um, and then let's see, here was another piece. This is kind of perforated and then some more vellum. Um, if you can even see that, but I've already pulled those pieces out. I mainly just needed the card bases. I don't know if I got an extra one of that or if I forgot to pull that out, but I like to put this all right back in here so it'll be nice and intact when I go to make my last couple of cards. And guys, I'm gonna send you all four of these cards. If you put an online order of, an, of at least $30 this week, you're gonna get all four of these cards in the project kit. So, okay, let's go ahead and start. You need ink pad colors, Granny Apple Green, Mango Melody, Flirty Flamingo, and Pretty Peacock. Those are the colors that they say coordinate and that you would want to use on your project. Oh, they also give you a bolt of Baker's Twine, kind of an old, not old olive, maybe Granny Apple Green, Granny Apple Green and White Baker's Twine. Super cute. I love the twine. And oh, the other thing too, they give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to put the cards together. 
So in different languages, obviously, I would read English because that's what I'm speaking here. Um, and then here is kind of what they do is they give you little numbers and then they point to things. And then over here, they tell you what the numbers mean and what to do. So simple, simple, easy. They've got the three cards there and then the fourth one right there. Um, I'm kind of like a direction follower. So I did read through the numbers and figure out what I needed to do. But I think I can do that all on my own now with my examples. So, okay, here we go. We've got our extra pieces. So let's just do this one. I actually kind of, for the sake of time, this was that vellum tag. You can see the cute little kind of um, cut. I don't know, I was gonna say scallopy kind of, but it's like those cool scissors, they made that cut. Um, but this one, basically, they just told you to wrap the baker's twine around like a million times. And I thought, you guys don't wanna sit and watch me do that. So I already did that for us, but that's kind of a quick, simple little thing. Next, we have our tags. So why don't we, so this is the one we're doing right here. So I'm gonna grab my Mango Melody ink pad. And yes, you're right, Philomena, more great colors. You have got that right, okay. So we're gonna ink this up, tap, 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 right? And then we're gonna do it right here. We're gonna press straight down. I'm gonna press pretty firmly because I wanna get the ink off onto my tag there, right? Okay, so we got one done there. I'm gonna set that aside just to make sure that it dries. So I've got my little stash of stuff here. So I know I need that little perforated piece and I think that's actually it. So you can see how, like I used one already, so here's the second one. So these just pop right out, right? So super simple and easy to work with. I've already got my little tag piece, and then I'm gonna grab my card base right here, okay? So let's see, I put some dimensionals behind this guy right here, so we're gonna do that. And I'm gonna try to put them um, in areas that are gonna be covered up by that piece when I put that on, because I don't want to see these dimensionals behind, right? Okay, so we're gonna do that. All right, so we'll put that baby right there. Got a little dimensional backing on that. All right, so now we're gonna just grab some adhesive and I'm gonna get it started. I'm just gonna kind of put that right through the middle because then I'm gonna lay this little baby, maybe right about there. And then I'm gonna pop out my happy birthday, put a couple more dimensionals on the back of it. And almost voila, there we go, voila, right? So how about that? One card done. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, this is funny. Nikki's saying you got it only for the happy birthday stamp. Yeah, so she must have liked this one that we just stamped, the happy birthday, because it is super cute, right? It's almost um, like the Broadway lights or something on there. Uh, but now you think you might need the kit. I know, I'm telling you. It, like I said, it'd be great. Like if you have a friend that is kind of intimidated by all this crafty stuff that you do, have them come over and you guys can just make these cute little kits or cards in the kit together. It's a great kind of intro to um, the stamping. And then, you know, you know they're going to fall in love with it. You know they're going to eventually want to get a bunch of stuff. So then they're going to have to get the starter kit through you, um, maybe become part of your team, or even just order through you, right? So it's kind of a win-win-win situation, right? Okay, so here we go. Next card, we have the Pretty Peacock base. We have this piece that we're going to lay right on there. And then what else? We need... So we're actually going to pop this little... That little perforated piece comes, we need that one. And then, ooh, yeah, some of the sparkly foil, the Bermuda Bay foil, just pop that. So you see how easy this is, right, to do these. And then I think that's it, because then we're gonna stamp our tag and we'll do our twine. Okay, so this time, I keep moving everything around, we are gonna use Granny Apple Green ink with our thanks stamp. Okay ink that up really well. And I would definitely suggest keeping these labels on, like don't don't um, pop them out until after you stamp them, okay? Um, it's much easier to stamp with them on the whole piece of paper instead of just that little label. Because, you know, things start to move a little bit, right, when, when you do that. Okay, now, so, oops, my sleeve caught all of that and sent it flying. And I worked out this morning and I can barely bend over to, <laughs> to pick anything up. Oh boy, okay. <laughs> 
Ouch, ladies. <laughs> okay, that's probably way more than you needed to know, right? <laughs> okay, so we're just tying some baker's twine around here. I made a huge bow there. Okay, let's see if we can get this to work, right? Just have to tighten it up enough. So I like to use my thumb there to kind of hold it in place. Gets all curled up. Okay, there we go. We are gonna scoot it around a little bit. It's kind of just the placement. So when you pull that, it tends to get all curled up, but I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so we are gonna just add some adhesive. Mm. <laughs> yeah, the working out when you're sore and you can't bend over. You're right. It definitely it does mean it's working. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. The soreness never goes away for me, I guess, cuz I never like do it enough or something. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Good good thought though, Nikki. I like your positive outlook there. Here I am crying about my pain. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put some dimensionals behind that little guy. I actually think, yeah, this one has popped up too. Okay, so we are going to put some dimensionals behind this little guy. So you can see how even um, just adding dimensionals behind a piece of paper on your project, it just it gives you that texture, that dimension, um, that sometimes is really all you need. Um, I tend to go for my bling, right? That's another great way I like to add texture is, um, did I pull those off yet? Not yet. Um, with my rhinestones and my pearls and all those other goodies. Okay, so this thing we will put right about there. Okay, so there's card number two. This is like wobbly. Hello, Miss Sharon. Had to pick up a kid today. <laughs> And long line at McDonald's. Yeah, it's that kind of a day, isn't it, huh? Okay, so there's card number two, the little thank you card. So cute, huh? More fun, bright colors there. Okay, so we're two down, two to go. Let's see, we will use this one next so we can see this guy right here. So what all do we need? We've got, we need this other piece. Again, it's perforated, so it just pops right out. So you can see how simple these are to make, right? We've got our other... Bermuda Bay foil paper, that little label, and then a Mango Melody banner. So again, this just pops out too. So just be careful so you don't rip things. But there we go, we've used all of those also. All right, then let's do our stamping. We've got the You Are Amazing. We're gonna do that in Flirty Flamingo ink. Okay, this is the smaller of the two, yes. Make sure I don't stamp on the wrong one. I was going to say make sure it's not upside down, but if it was, you could just flip it over. That would be easy. Okay. Stamp right in there. We go. All right. You are amazing. Pop this one out. We need one more label for later. Okay. So this is just adhered on. So we're just going to put some adhesive right on here. That is going to go... Right on, I love, oh, Bermuda Bay. Especially like thinking about like summertime. Oh my goodness, that's like taking me to summer right here with this color, Bermuda Bay. Plus the name too, right? Bermuda Bay, doesn't it sound like just a fabulous place to be? Oops, that's way backwards. Okay, so we're gonna put some more adhesive right on this little label. We're gonna pop that right on there now we're going to grab our banner got to add a little more baker's twine so basically they would just kind of wrap it around a couple of times and then tie a bow and i'm sure that you would have um more twine left lori yes you like the cards they are it's just the the fun bright bold colors on the cards right they just make you happy and you guys, I have to tell you, um, so friends of ours that s sent a little, you know, gift package, care package to Lily, um, she sat down the other day and wrote her thank you cards. And so last night when we were at the basketball game, um, friends of ours that had given her a little something, um, they just, here, I'm going to get all teared up because it was just so sweet. They're like, we got the nicest thank you card from Lily. Um, and they just were so touched and loved it so much. And 
you know, you, we all like do this so much that I think we kind of forget the power of a handmade card, a handmade thank you, what it can mean to other people. I mean, obviously, you know, they were so sweet that they took time to, you know, make this little gift care package and get it to her. And, you know, it's what you need to do is to say thank you for something like that. Take that time back to say thank you. And they were just so touched by it. And so I love that. I Because I we kind of talked about, you know, what should she say on her thank you cards, but I wasn't like right over her shoulder telling her what to do. And I didn't read any of them before they went out. So you always, you know, you kind of wonder, but they were just really impressed. And I was like, oh, that's just awesome, right? So another fun card, right? You are amazing. You could send that to somebody who wouldn't love to get a card that says you are amazing, right? Okay, so one more last card. So you can see how quick these are going together too, right guys? Okay, so we'll do our stamping on that little label. We've got this little gold piece. So fun colors, right? I know somebody said that earlier. Um, but yeah, just uh, lots of good funness here, right? Okay, funness, right? I don't know. I make up a lot of words on Facebook Live because I'm just excited about things. So that's just a little vellum banner there. And then one more... I think it's all the cute little details that I'm really loving on this particular project kit. Okay, so we're gonna go this way. We have our Pretty Peacock ink pad with the hip hip hooray, three cheers for you stamp. Okay, so make sure, again, it doesn't really matter if it's upside down because I could just flip it over. I do press pretty firmly. There's something about the, the label cardstock. It's a little bit different um, than our regular cardstock. It's almost like you do have to ink things up a tiny bit more. I don't know what it is about how it's made, um, but I tend to want to really ink up my ink pads. But you do have to be a little bit careful because you can see I kind of went crazy and I got a little bit of um, ink on the edge. Uh, you might have not even noticed that if I hadn't shown you, but I guess it's more so just to say be a little bit careful. Um, let's actually not do that one quite yet. I don't. I think our ink dries pretty quickly, but I'd hate to flip it over and find out that it hadn't dried. So we're going to just add this piece right on here. And again, we've got our twine, so we are going to wrap... I always try to kind of estimate how much do I need for that bow. That's probably good. So there, we're going to wrap that around a couple of times. We're going to make our bow and tie it up. So yeah, just give yourself lots of slack. Don't ever cut off of your bolt either. Um, leave it on so you have room to work with. This twine is really inexpensive so if you end up with a little bit more than you need that's okay I'm kind of pulling that like too tight okay little bolt there settle down let's see can I <laughs> it's like I pulled it a little bit too tight now I'm trying to figure out can I there we go loosen it back up a little bit okay got that I'll get that twine out of the way because it seems to be kind of causing some trouble all right, there we go. So now this one had dimensionals behind it. So, and has this happened to you guys lately? This is happening to me more and more. I don't really know why. I find it a little bit frustrating. It's like the back behind the dimensionals is a little bit thinner than it used to be. So I'm always like breaking through it. Okay, handmade from the heart. Yes, Philomena, I'm sorry. I'm just seeing your comment. Yes. Oh yeah. And she got to pick. So obviously I have a few extra cards in my stash. So Lily got to pick um, all of the thank you cards that she sent out to. So I think she had fun with that kind of deciding who was going to get which thank you card. So yeah, it was awesome. Okay. We're going to just add this one. Ooh, I love, I want them to come out with more, um, of that foil paper. <laughs> I love the bright, bold colors of foil paper. And then this is just gonna go right on there. All right, so we've got another hip, hip, hooray, three cheers for you. So do you guys see, I made four cards in like super quick amount of time. So you could make 16 of them and, and it doesn't have to be super quick. I don't like to, you know, take forever on here for you guys, but um, yeah, so take as long as you want, take as little time as you want, you can make. Look at all these cute cards, right? So again, it is called the You Are Amazing 
stamp set and the You Are Amazing Project Kit. Comes in that cute box right there. I kind of have stuff sticking out, right? But You Are Amazing Project Kit, love. <laughs> Plus I'm like, ooh, I love this little box too. Um, and I'm always like, ooh, what can I do with this box now? Um, I've got some ideas. <laughs> for sure. All right, so I'm just going to lay this right over top here. So quick recap, make sure you use the host code, the XH or CXHUGXUP, right? You will get all four of these cards sent to you as a thank you. You will also get your name in the drawing to win the Jar of Flowers stamp set. If you bump your order up to $50, you get to pick from this month's free embellishment for March, which are the Champagne Rhinestones or the Demo Design Dream Team March PDF tutorial, right? Oh, and what is Susan? She's saying, yes, um, she's going to make some alternatives. Susan, when you do that, will you post them here on our Facebook group? I would love to see what else you come up with. So I think what she's saying is she's going to maybe use some of the parts and pieces and do different things than what is intended with the kit, which I love. Those, those are the super creative people that can see all the other fun things that they could do. I'm more like, oh, let me just do it just like they show um, in the project kit because I love them too, right? But yeah, Susan, we would love to see what you come up with for alternative ideas or just even using the stamp set, right? Right? coming up with other fun projects using the You Are Amazing stamp set. So, all right, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Again, there's that host code. It's always on my blog too at gatheringinspiration.com. Um, hope you guys have a great weekend, a great week, and I'll see you back here in two Fridays. So on Friday, March 19, we'll be back live right here. All right, take care, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye, everybody.